Hi, it's Michael, and welcome back to another Sky Portal How To. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Application Programming Interface, or API, which is the way that you can programmatically interact with Sky Portal. This will be the first in a series of videos where we discuss on how to, how to interact with the app in this way. So let's begin. So if we, if we start from our homepage here, and we go back to the telescope page, um, you know, which we talked about in the very first video in the series, uh, you may have been wondering, uh, how do I retrieve information from the app if I don't want to be using the web interface? And this is where APIs come up. So the idea is that anything that you can do through the web interface, you can do through the API. Basically, any information that you want to retrieve, any information that you want to post, anything that you want to delete, anything that you can do, um, you know, clicking around on the app here, you can do exactly the same thing through the command line in the terminal. And so to show this as an example, um, so we will go, I've put together this little Jupyter notebook um, that we'll make available as, a, as an example, and we'll take a look at it together. And so uh, we first begin by importing a couple of libraries. So the request library is a Python library that allows you to um, make, well, API requests of various kinds. And then urllib allows you to uh, create URLs, basically. Um, now, uh, you'll first require a few, in, a few pieces of information. One, the host that you're working with. So in my case, I'm just going to be working with uh, I have a local instance of Sky Portal, so I have a local host here. For those of you working on, for example, fritz.science, this is where you will input this information. And the next piece of information is the API token. And so to find out about the API token, we'll go back to our uh, Sky Portal interface here. We'll go to the top right and we'll go down to profile and we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom here. And so you can see here um, one that you you can create a token and you'll see that uh, for a given token, uh, it has a variety of options. Basically, you can get a, give tokens uh, different capabilities um, within the app, depending on your, your user level. So in this case, I'm a system admin. And so I have um, basically all of the capabilities that the app could have. Um, but uh, the, the idea here is you, you click different boxes um, for what a particular token uh, you may want to, to give power to. It could be the case that you don't want uh, a particular token to be able to, for example, um, upload data for whatever reason. Um, perhaps you only want it to, to be able to retrieve. But once you have a token, you'll have a token down in my tokens here, and its value is given down here. And I will copy and paste that um, that value, and I'll put it back in my um, my token information here. Okay, so I have my host and I have my API token and I create what's known as a header, but basically um, inputting the information about my token into, um, into a form that the, the API can understand. So in this case, we're gonna, we're gonna start with the telescope endpoint because um, we're looking at the telescope page. But the, if we go to the Sky Portal API docs for a second, um, uh, we provide information um, built off of the software code base itself, uh, providing information about all of the things that you can do within the app. Um, so in this case, for these allocations, um, we have things like producing a report on allocation for an instrument, retrieving an allocation, deleting the allocation, retrieving allocations, and so on and so forth. Um, I would say generally, uh, for any uh, kind of object within the app, you can usually um, get post and delete it, in addition to um, maybe more specific things, depending on um, you know, what we're talking about here. And so if you, uh, this, is one, uh, this is one way to identify the, the kind of information that you, um, that you may want to um, have in the app. So going back um, to our um, Jupyter notebook here for a second. So we have, in this case, the telescope endpoint, and we create the, the URL that's going, to, that's going to talk to that endpoint here. And so now we'll, we'll show an example where we post a telescope. And so um, here I've given, um, have some kind of telescope here. 
Um, so in uh, post data, I'll give my telescope a name, a nickname, in this case, latitude and longitude, elevation, diameter, whether it's robotic or not. And again, this information can be uh, can be identified from the um, uh, from the API documentation. So I'm going to post this telescope, um, give it an ID here, and see. So it's given an internal ID of 18, and I can post a te second telescope here. Um, in this case, it's given an ID 19, and you know it's got it's got other information. And so now, if we go back to the app and we click on telescopes here, now we can see. Um, you know, my telescope is down here, um, and then we have a, um, my other telescopes over here. And so we see that we successfully added telescopes to the app. Now, um, maybe I would like to retrieve information about my telescopes, um, just, just all of them. And so I can, in this case, do a get command. Um, and I, if I run this, um, you will see here this block that has information about the various telescopes that are available. So the first entry here is um, the 48 inch on Palomar, it looks like. Um, the second entry uh, looks like it is the 60 inch on Palomar and so on and so forth. If we look at the bottom here, I have number 18, which is the telescope, the first telescope I added and number 19, the second telescope I added. Now, most of the APIs also allow you to um, restrict the um, the query in some way. And so, for example, in the case of telescopes, I can restrict by latitude and longitude um, within some box, basically. And so I can do another git command here, providing these parameters to the, the git query. So if I run this, you'll see that I get very many fewer telescopes, just those within the box that I have, um, which happens to include the, the second telescope I added here by design. Um, Finally, uh, you may want to, to delete a telescope. And so in this case, um, for telescope ID 19, my, the second telescope I added, I create a dedicated delete URL. And this one's different in the sense that you have the endpoint and you have the ID for the particular telescope that you're interested in deleting. And so um, when I run this, I see that my telescope was successfully deleted. And if I was to rerun my, uh, my Git query, You'll notice that this that my telescope is now gone, um, and you look back here, and indeed my telescope has disappeared from the world map. If you want to find more information about how to access um, APIs programmatically, um, we have a dedicated section under the under usage here in the Sky Portal documentation. Um, we look forward to uh, future videos on this topic. Um, the API. Interface is important for, um, for example, large scale and uh, automated queries that you may want to be making as the app. And otherwise, we look forward to your thoughts, questions, and comments. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at the next video. Bye.